doing, bonehead? Hey, today <laughs> we're going to talk about upper control arms. All right. Today we're going to talk about upper control arms. Uh, there is some differences in a lot of them, so I'm going to try my best to explain to you guys what the differences are and how to assemble and remove the shafts and things like that. So, all right, we'll go ahead and get started. All right, guys, first thing I guess to go in is going to be our, our bearings. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. And uh, let's see here. We're just, what we're going to do, one bearing goes in here, and it slides in just like so. Take, take a little bit, but it'll go in until it stops back here. Okay, and then we, we slide. What I like to do is I like to take the shaft, slide that puppy in there like that, and then slide the little spacer bushing in there like that, and then put another bearing. Okay, like that, and then I like to take the snap ring here. So there's two bearings on each side? Two bearings on each side. And a spacer bushing in between the bearings. And then I put the little snap ring in and it holds and retains the bearings in the in the bushing. Okay, see there? So the shaft is still removable, see? Okay. And then we do the, the same on the other side as well. Okay, make sure it goes all the way in to where we can put our other snap ring into place. You guys can see this. A little tough sometimes. Give me a fit here. There we go. All right, so we got that part of it done, and that baby is low friction. This is the end cap here. After you get all the bearings installed and the shaft, uh, I always like to put a little bit of a thread locker or something, maybe some light duty thread locker. Uh, put that on there before you insert these, but. Uh, before I forget, it also has another little spacer bushing, which we're uh, working on designing this a little different here soon. So uh, this will just give you guys the idea. We're going to build it into the, um, the, to the actual end cap. So what that does, it just keeps the spacer or the end cap away from the from the, the bearing, yeah, from the from the bearing and bushing, yeah. Like I said, we just tighten that up real good. Okay, and we do the same to the other side here, real quick, like so you get the idea. All right, now the the new Baron style uppers that we got uh, do require a. Uh, a little slug uh, and uh, fits in there just like that. <clears throat> well now do you have different ones for different measurements? We do. We've got, uh, let's like I say, we got zero uh, different offset ones. Uh, eighth inch I think, quarter, three eighths. I was going to say. All the way up to half inch, of, uh, half inch of adjustment on these slugs so you can put it where you want it. Now that you see how the Baron style upper control arm works. Uh, let me give you a, a, an example, an idea of, of the differences between the ones that we do have. Uh, like say for example, this is our standard, just our standard uh, upper control arm with a screw in style ball joint. Uh, so does that have bearings in it? No, this does not. This, this has just got a fixed bushing with the shaft welded in and it is not removable so I mean you can't really a lot of the older cars have 
to where you can uh, where you have to have a removable shaft or or which leads you on to splitting the ball joint pocket on a bolt in style to, to get it behind your uprights. Uh, this one here, if you don't if you don't need to do that, that's a good choice. I mean it's a good good pretty good free I mean you know pretty low friction. But uh, that's our standard. Like I say all of our all of our upper control arms you can get with a 13 degree angle on the uh, on the ball joint or you can get a flat whichever you prefer whatever get your geometry right like I say this one here is our bolt in style and it's got fixed bushings on each end as well just like the standard but it's just got a bolt in pocket uh, but you can a lot of people on the older cars used to split them and uh, put them in behind the uprights back here so they can get it that way and uh, but uh, like I say, we got these, the bolt-in style, we got it in uh, Camaro, um, a metric, uh, let's see, and then standard as well. Uh, so that's that, and then we came along with uh, a bushing style uh, upper control arm, which is a, it's a low friction. And it's is that got, the SLF or the XLF? This is the SLF, and it's got the uh, it's got the the bronze uh, oil impregnated bushings, so it's it always stays good and you know low friction. Of course, uh, you can remove the shaft out from it and put it behind your uprights as well, uh, which is a good benefit with that, and that's it's it's a good deal for the for the money. Uh, uh, and then we moved on, I guess, to uh, the, the Baron upper, which is really low friction, as you can tell. And that's the XLF? This is the XLF, the Baron style, and then this is the SLF. I like to say super low friction, and, and or ex, extra low friction, super low friction. That's how I get them mixed up, but don't get them mixed up with that on the part numbers. But, uh, yeah, you can see the difference there. I mean... This is low friction, not no friction, you know. That right there, it's the bearing style. So the SLF does have bearings. No, it does no, not. No, it doesn't. It has an oil impregnated bushing. Oh, instead of the bearings. Instead of the bearings. Right? Okay, okay. As you can see there, it's got clips that hold it in. I mean, if you want to remove the shaft to put it behind your uprights or whatever. See, grease deuces, is that what that's called? It's got, it does have the grease fittings, so you can grease them as well. Uh... But yeah, like I say, all the upper control arms, you can get them in the flat pocket, uh, screw-in pocket, or you can get them with a 13 degree angle. Uh, like I say, we do have the Camaro and, uh, and the metric style upper control arms as well. Uh, they all have grease fittings in them, except for the bearings, of course, because it's got sealed bearings. Uh, but yeah, it's just a really good upper control arm. So guys, if you're looking for a good high quality upper control arm, come see us at PPM or visit us on the website at ppmracingproducts.com or give us a call. Thank you.